Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Silvera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School with Backyard Enrichment video number 15. Oh, what a difference a day makes. After a stormy day yesterday, we're looking at some nice weather today here in the backyard. Um, not too bad with the wind. We lost power here at my house for about two hours, maybe from 1.30 to about 3.30. That wasn't bad. Uh, during that time, what we did is we played a little Stratego, me and Jake. And Jake really, really uh, beat me up badly on that one. And uh, the family played some Sorry. And as is normally the case around here these days, uh, Jake came out victorious with that. Not too much damage, a little bit of damage. You see some, some slight tree damage here. Some branches down on this side of the yard. A couple other branches over here. But overall, things came out pretty well. A couple of pieces of my fence came off there, but I think we can fix that without too much trouble today. Let's get started on today's backyard enrichment video. We begin all of our videos with a little bit of appreciation. Um, I was thinking yesterday of our seventh grade science teacher, Mrs. Carrig, and Mrs. Carrig loves all things science, uh, and, I'm, and certainly weather-related things and bug-related things. Hope she's watching the backyard enrichment videos with a lot of interest. Uh, Mrs. Carrig is our debate advisor. Mrs. Carrig is also a, a science representative on our leadership team and a valuable member of the Joseph Case Junior High School. Appreciate you today, Mrs. Karen. Thank you for all that you do for our students and for our school. So here we are in the backyard today. Um, again, it's going to be a nice day, a day to get outside after your school work's done, of course, and after you do the things you need to do with mom and dad. As I said before, um, during our small power outage, we had a a couple of board games going on there and then after dinner we played 99 uh, a bad night again at the card table for Mrs. Silvera and Mrs. Silvera is actually victorious in the game of 99 last night um, hopefully when the work is done today we'll be able to have some fun out in the yard maybe a board game after dinner as we've been doing recently as well well the today's backyard enrichment video during the storm yesterday, we had a rather interesting visitor stop by the yard, and we'll take a look at that. This, this visitor actually, once a year, also stops by our school. Huh, interesting. This is the wild turkey. At the time our country was first settled, the wild turkey was widespread in Massachusetts. Due to habitat loss, turkeys disappeared from the state, and the last known native bird was killed in 1851. In the 1970s, mass wildlife biologists trapped 37 turkeys in New York and released them into Berkshires. The new flock grew in what was an ideal mix of agricultural and forested lands, and by the, by the fall of 1978, the estimated population was about 1,000 birds. With birds also moving in from adjacent states, Turkey soon ranged throughout most parts of Massachusetts west of the Connecticut River. In-state transplants of the birds conducted until 1996 continued to expand their range into the central, northeastern, and southeastern parts of the state. In 1991, the wild turkey was named the state's official game bird. The estimated population now between 30,000 and 35,000 birds. Wild turkeys are an important natural resource. They are classified as game birds for which a management program and regulated hunting seasons have been established. The wild turkey is a black to blackish bronze with white wing bars, blackish brown tail feathers, and a bluish gray to red head. Toms, or male wild turkeys, weigh about 16 to 25 pounds. They sport a hair-like beard, which protrudes from the breastbone. Females, called hens, are smaller, about 9 to 12 pounds, and are generally less conspicuous, typically dull brown with a bluish gray head. Wild turkeys are active during the day, roosting in large trees at night to avoid predators. Gobbling during breeding season usually starts in March and can last through May. This is when the males puff out their feathers, fan their tails, and attract females. Hens lay eggs after the first mating. The nest is a shallow, leaf-lined depression on the ground and contains 12 to 15 eggs. Hatching occurs after an incubation period of 28 days. Broods usually appear in the first week of June. The young are active as soon as they hatch. Young turkeys remain with their mother for at least four to five months. 
turkeys learn from each other, often by imitation and by associating with older, more experienced birds. Wild turkeys seasonally exploit a diversity of food items, including plant materials, seeds, nuts, berries, insects, and invertebrates. In the fall, they feed on acorns, beech nuts, hickory nuts, and seeds. In the winter, turkeys avoid areas with deep, fluffy snow. Wild turkeys thrive in a variety of environments in Massachusetts. They utilize agricultural lands, forests, and suburban and urban habitats. Areas with many different types of habitat types are probably the most productive for turkeys because they provide an optimal mix of food and cover across the range of seasons. Turkeys in suburban and urban areas rely heavily on bird seed located in and around bird feeders and can become quite habituated to specific locations. Wild turkeys live in flocks, organized by pecking order. Each bird is dominant over or pecks on birds of lesser social status. Turkeys may attempt to dominate or attack people that they view as subordinates. This behavior is observed most during the breeding season. Every year, the Thanksgiving turkey visits us at our school to participate in our annual turkey trot, a school-wide fundraiser that helps support veterans in need in our area. Hopefully, out in the yard, you may see a turkey wander through. Every year, Mr. Severa gives his famous turkey call at turkey trot time. We'll try that here as well. It's our backyard enrichment video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with you again tomorrow. And remember, as always, we're all in this together. Today and every day, we are all cardinals. Have a great day today. Hopefully you'll be able to get out in the yard and see what visitors stop by your yard. Have a good day.